Well, welcome back to the Mod Showcase, everyone. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back here for yet another look at all the mods that were released this week on Nexus. Now, I apologize. It's going to be a lot of fish, and we'll talk about more of those when we actually do get to it. Uh, but for the time being, I just want to say modding is not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. But if you follow all the instructions correctly, if you make sure that you are following our word. Uh, make sure to join the modding server in case if you guys need to stay up to date with like mod updates, stay up to date with like mod news and stuff like that. That would be the best recommendation I have for you guys. But without further ado, let's get into it. We have a lot of beautiful mods to check out this week and we're gonna start off with a remaster of an older one. This is of course the Eurasian Wolf. This beautiful mod is brought to you by Gaboy, Mega Gaming Rex, Havoc, and Giorno Pizza. Oh my god, so many people work on this beautiful creature and you can really tell. I love it when these four get together to work on a mod because it always looks ex excellent. Um, but yeah, these guys are beautiful. So of course these guys are a wolf sub that can be found all over Europe and Asia, mostly the northern parts of it. I know that they're kind of distinct from like the southern Europe kind of species like the Iberian and the Italian. These guys are really freaking beautiful. I don't exactly know what was changed, but I can definitely guarantee that this guy looks better than it did before. And these guys constantly work on their beautiful animals, so I can't recommend this guy enough. If you guys downloaded this guy in the past, I really suggest you guys go for it again because they constantly work out how to make this mod even more beautiful. I can already tell that Gaboy has done some beautiful work on the coat, even with the fur like all the furs and stuff like that hopefully you guys can see just the amount of detail that kind of comes through on them they really are gorgeous creatures and i hope you guys enjoy it they also love to swim which is very cute but that is about it right there which by the way i do want to say i apologize for any background noise i have my fan on it's super hot out right now and it's just like it's all a mess but look at the little sleepy boy now moving on through here, we have two more pure winter mods to check out. I was very excited to bring these in. And I do need to give a huge shout out to Gaboy for allowing me to use his model for the Bengal Tiger in order to kind of bring onto these to make them look even better. So of course Pure Winter way back in the day released the Magnificent Tigers collection. It was just like this beautiful whole mod pack full of like all these cool different tiger variations we bought. Uh, I've been working a little bit hard, and a huge thank you to BuffZoo as well for these beautiful pictures. I mean, look over here. That is gorgeous, and you can see just how beautiful they come out. But I've been working really hard to get these like as new species in the game. And the first one we have here is, of course, a Slate Bengal Tiger. This one also has a variation that is a white stripeless one, I believe. So if you guys do like breeding for those kind of tiger colors, you are more than welcome to do that. But this is, of course, its its own standalone species. I'm not sure if Gaboy would want to include this when he eventually does add more uh, color variations to the tigers. I think he said he won't just because he wants a lot more realistic ones. The Slate Bengal Tiger really isn't a real one. Uh, in fact, I don't think anyone's ever seen one before. I don't think anyone's ever bred one before. But it's still a really fun one to have in Planet Zoo. I know a lot of people like the colors on them. And yeah, they're just really beautiful creatures nonetheless. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But I think a lot more people will be happy to see what we have going on in here. And I decorated that habitat even though there's nothing in here. It's this one. This is, of course, the Javan Tiger. These guys were found on the island of Java, which is located in Indonesia. And they only went extinct around the 70s. I want to say maybe like 72, 74 is the year that they went extinct. But still, it's a very beautiful model, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. It's not exactly accurate. I have to admit that right off the bat. The Javan Tiger does have a lot more anatomical differences than the mainland Bengal Tiger. But I hope you guys still enjoy this one, because it brings another animal to the game. I'm not sure. This is just an open call to good boy. If you do want to work with me to make this guy his own, like, really worth it, really unique animal, you're more than welcome to hit me up, brother. I would be very excited to see that. But this is, of course, Pure Winter's interpretation of it. It's a lot more kind of burnt burnt rust kind of color. I'm not really sure what you would call that, but it's still a beautiful animal nonetheless, and I'm so happy to keep on bringing Pure Winter stuff to kind of like 1.10 and beyond. It's just super awesome just to see that her stuff 
still lives on to this day and it's just great to have that but beautiful job over there and i'm super excited to see that you guys really do love that one now moving on throughout here we are going to take a little dip in the salt water and we're going to start off with the frilled shark and now we now while we look at this guy i do want to say buff Zoo and i have both kind of mutually decided that we're not really going to do any more fish ports i know not really too many people enjoyed them uh, I know it's kind of caused a little bit of a stir in the community and we think it's best if we kind of just lay back on it and Kind of just do custom stuff from now on Obviously custom stuff takes a lot longer. It's a lot more tedious, but hopefully with all the bases that we have right now we would be able to Really make some beautiful fish going forward some fish that we don't have are like threadfin lookdowns and I'll hopefully get to work on those relatively soon, but for the time being, we should probably just take a step over here and enjoy what we have. So this is, of course, the Frilled Shark. This guy is ported from Wildlife Park 2 or 3, I forget. Uh, it's on the mod page. You guys can check that out. But still, it's a very unique shark. It's nothing really too common. Their range is really interesting. So they're found kind of like globally, but they've only like appeared on like the coast and stuff like that, which I think is so cool. I don't know. Just a really beautiful creature. And we have a lot more beautiful creatures in here too, like the French angelfish. These guys are found in the Atlantic Ocean, all across of it. And I believe they're also found in the Caribbean too, which is excellent to have. But these guys are gorgeous. They have these beautiful black and yellow markings on them, which really helps them stand out, especially in big reef tanks. They're relatively larger angelfish species, which I think is always great to have. I always do love these ones that have a lot more of like a larger body structure. And I'm just super happy that we were able to get these guys in the game. It's just super great to have them in here. We also have, I believe this is the red drum. Yes, these guys are also a Caribbean species, even though their population kind of extends out to the Gulf of Mexico as well. Really common uh sporting fish so people go fishing for these guys a lot of the time it's actually very cool because they have these black spots on here but you get some variations where they have two black spots which is i think is very awesome um i know it's just a spot but it's just super great to have like you know all this knowledge of fish i don't know i i just want to spread it with you guys we also have the poor beagle shark. This is the last shark port. I know, it's so sad. But it's just so cute. So this is one of the salmon sharks. Uh, no, it's one of the... I think it's the salmon shark, right? I think that's it. No, salmon shark is the species. I gotta check this out. I probably put it in the Zoopedia somewhere. Hold on. Mackerel shark. Okay, I was getting my schooling fish confused. So it is a species of mackerel shark, which kind of contains all the stuff like... Salmon sharks, of course, but it also contains stuff like sand tiger sharks. It also contains stuff like um, uh, great white sharks as well. And they're all kind of in the same family, which I think is pretty cool. But these guys are really adorable. They have this beautiful kind of bluish kind of texture to them, which I think is neat. They have these very scary teeth, which I really love. And they're just really adorable. They're like the tiny sharks, and I really do like that. So I hope you guys enjoy that guy right there. I'm trying to see what else we have in here. This guy is one of my favorites over here. This is, of course, the Atlantic football fish. These guys are mean. So, of course, they are a... Uh, how you say anglerfish that is to be expected they they have the little thing on their uh head head forehead that they use to actually lure in prey uh they have considerable uh sexual dimorphism as well so the males are extremely small meanwhile the females are big chunky uh so that's a male very small but the female would be about this size which I think is pretty fun. We also have the fox face rabbit fish. Very common aquarium species. Very common in the pet trade and stuff like that. I believe they're only Indo-Pacific, which I think is pretty neat. Always great to have that kind of representation inside a planet zoo in terms of our fish. Um, and yeah, just a really awesome species to have. Oh, there's a female over there. Look how big she is. Let's get a uh, Steve out here for uh, scale. But yeah, they're pretty big right there, which I think is pretty fun. Uh, making our way throughout here, I think we should have the snook. So this is the common snook. I'm just going to move him to land really quickly just so we could see him move. Or we could just check out this one over here. Again, another Florida Gulf of Mexico Caribbean species, which I always do love to see. Very popular sporting fish. These guys have some really cool fins going on. So they have this, like, this main 
fin over here. I think that's a pectoral, I want to say. Guys, I'm sorry. It ha it's been so long since I've been in a marine biology class. It's, I'm, I apologize. But still, really beautiful animal nonetheless. Very awesome sporting fish. And I believe that should be it. But if you guys don't mind, I'm going to take the time to just pop in here and make sure that we got all of them. So we saw the red drum. We saw the frilled shark. We saw all of them. Awesome. So we're going to move over here to our freshwater fish. And we're going to hopefully go through this relatively quickly. But I released about 30 fish with buff soup this week. So we have a lot of them specifically on the freshwater side. So let's just get started. This is a common chub. It is a European, Eurasian kind of fish. Uh, very noticeable by its red fins and stuff like that. Very popular fish for consumption over there. Uh, just really cool. I think they're found in the Danube River as well, which is pretty neat. But they can be found all over uh, Eurasia and stuff like that, which I think is neat. We have the only Australian fish this week. This is the Murray Cod. This is a relatively huge fish, which I think is pretty cool. They have this really interesting splotching pattern on them, which I really do love. And their fins are really gorgeous as well. Nice rounded off. It's just super awesome just to see like this kind of morphology in them. I really do love it. Uh, common chub we already saw. This is a sturlet. These guys are adorable. So you guys know sturgeons, right? Well, these guys are one of the smallest of all sturgeons. They're just super tiny, and I really do love them. They have these cute little tendrils on their nose, which is really fun. And their nose kind of goes up. A little bit which I think is pretty cool kind of like shovel nose surgeons but these guys are a lot smaller than them and they also do have this beautiful black coloration on them which is always cool to see we also have the round goby I believe I just want to make sure that's right yep that's Lewis the round goby another Eurasian fish these guys are found around the uh, I want to say like the Balkan area I think they're also found like around like Poland Hungary and all the way into Russia. Really cool animal over here. Uh, always awesome to get freshwater gobies. I think these guys are so cool. Their color variation may not be as bright as your typical saltwater gobies, but still a really beautiful animal nonetheless. I love their kind of bulging red eyes. We also have the red breast sunfish. These guys are really cool. Another North American fish. Always great to have these guys. I always love my North American fish, guys. Um, and yeah, it's just a relatively common fish. They're kind of related to the pumpkin seed. They're also related to the other sunfish that I think we should have uh, in Planet Zoo as new species. And they're just really beautiful. Don't mind that guy. He's just getting his uh, sea legs all worked up or something. I don't know. This is the Eyed. I don't really know too much about this guy. I just think he has a funny name. Uh, where are they from? They're found in Eurasia. Who would have thought? The, one of the things I've always noticed about these Eurasian fish, if I could find the Eyed again, if, if I could find him, is that they always have the kind of like goldish kind of silvery scales and they also have red fins on the rear which i think is just so cool just to see how that collective morphology despite how different some of these fish are is able to occur i just always find that very interesting now moving on through here i see a bass over here so let's check him out this is the shoal bass now i don't know too much about these guys i believe they're north american yep they're north american they're actually found in uh southeast so florida georgia all that stuff they're a very popular sporting fish uh fishing is very popular down there so it's just really awesome just to get this kind of um wildlife representation in the game i always do love to see that and they have these wonderful little stripes even though they aren't the striped bass that is a saltwater fish we also have the long nose sucker uh, named aptly so because of its long nose. It doesn't really have a long nose, but just go with me here. Really awesome fish over here. It's related to carps and stuff like that. I really do like the coloration on these guys too. They have that kind of like purple tint, which is really awesome to see. What else do we have in here? I don't think we saw the humpback whitefish just yet. These guys are really cool. These guys are only found in northern Russia, I want to say. I gotta get that confirmed, please. Uh, it's also known as the Arctic Whitefish, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, they're found in the Arctic Ocean, which I kind of messed up throwing him in the freshwater. But we could say that they are also brackish. I, they're probably not. But just go with me here, guys. I don't know. I, I messed up. I, there's too many fish. But this one is cool. This is a South American White Croaker. These guys are really freaking awesome because you never really see kind of like bright white Amazon fish 
Uh, the only other one that really comes to mind is the arowana, like the silver arowana. So it's just super awesome just to get these species in the game. Uh, there's not really too much known about this species, which is a shame, because they really do have such a unique morphology, but it's just super awesome to see this. Uh, most of these models, by the way, are from either Fishing Planet or they're from 123 3D models. Um, all the kind of information is on the respective mod pages themselves, so feel free to go under credits and you can see where they're from. It's also under authors in case if you guys are curious. But yeah, just a really beautiful, beautiful fish. We also have, I believe this is the Bowfin, yes. So these guys oftentimes get mistaken for the Northern Snakehead, which we will actually see in a little bit. But these guys are really freaking cool. Look at their little um, fins down here. They have three different sets of fins on their bottom, which I think is so cool. And they have these really massive, ma blah, 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 blah. they have these really, really powerful jaws. I think that is super cool. Just look at those teeth on these guys. You really don't want to mess with them. Now, we also have the American Flagfish. You could probably guess why this guy is called that. You have a lot of red, white, and blues happening, even though they do have a little bit of green, but that's probably because America is obsessed with money. But hey, we're not going to get into that too much right now. Really beautiful animal nonetheless. Just a super easy, nice kind of pond fish that you guys can have. They're found all over North America, which I think is super great to have, especially considering their color variation. I find that very patriotic. And I'm trying to think of what else we have yet to see. I know there's one fish in here. Uh, this one should be really easy. This is a big mouth buffalo named aptly so because of its big mouth and its relatively buffalo-like appearance. I know they look nothing like buffaloes, but they just are big chunky boys. There are North American fish, which again, it's always great to have. And yeah, it's just a really popular sporting fish, which is always awesome to see. And now... I think we should be able to find our northern snakehead. I think I threw these guys in here. I think that's him right there. So, of course, these guys get confused with the other guys, but you can definitely tell right off the bat that there's a lot of differences between these guys. These guys only have two sets of fins. They also have these um, pectoral fins going on back there. Again, I don't, it's been a while since I've been in a marine biology class. I apologize, guys. But really beautiful fish nonetheless. These guys are extremely common in aquarium trades. They're easily one of like the more well-known monster fish, which I think is super cool. And yeah, these guys are only found in like northern Russia, kind of like northern Asia and stuff like that. So it's just super awesome just to get that kind of diversity in the game as well. And I think we should be good after this guy. This is, of course, the Tiger Barb. I bet some of you guys at home probably have this guy in your fish tank right now if you have one. Very popular Southeast Asian fish species. I think they're only found in Indonesia and Borneo, but they've made their way into, I want to say, Cambodia as well. Oh, oh, there goes that fish. Whoops. Uh, but still, just a really awesome fish nonetheless. Uh, this guy reminded me of him, so this is the European weatherfish. Really simple fish. It's kind of like a, a barbell or something like that. Really awesome just to have these guys in here. This whole journey with Buff Zoo has made me so appreciative of uh, European fish just because of how cool they can be. They're nowhere near as colorful as the rest of the fish in the world, which... You know what? That's fine, because their morphology really does make up for it. These guys have a really cool elongated appearance, and they have these beautiful kind of lines of rusty gold going across them. I think that is swell right there. And I'm trying to think. Is there anything else, my friends? The Paradise Fish. I can't believe I forgot about you. Uh, let's try... Oh! easy one right over here. Common Minnow. Nothing really too crazy. This guy is just a common minnow. Nothing too crazy about that. Uh, and I'm trying to find where our paradise fish is. Did I get to you, humpback whitefish? Yes, we did. Did we get to you, European weatherfish? This is half the fun over here. It's trying to find this damn fish. Uh, if I could find this guy somewhere. Uh, what's, what's you? This is a gudgeon. Very simple fish. Very small fish. I always thought gudgeons would be huger from the name, but nope, they're just a tiny little fish. Always love to see that. Uh, and I'm trying to find the last guy over here. Okay, maybe, maybe, just maybe. Alaska Blackfish forgot to shake, shake, shake out these guys as well. Simple fish, freshwater fish found in like Alaskan rivers and stuff. They have that really cool color splotching going on. Always find that very cool. 
Uh, what else do we need to see? I know our paradise fish. We could check him out right now. Check that guy out right there. I apologize that they're not moving. They usually do. But I think once you put so many fish into a single tank, it kind of messes up their navigation. But really beautiful fish. These guys are also from Southeast Asia, as you could probably tell from their very colorful appearance. You wouldn't mess this guy up with a European fish. Uh, really beautiful fish. They're called paradise fish for a reason. It's because whenever I look at them, I feel like I'm in paradise. All the beautiful blues, all the beautiful reds going on with these guys. It's just super awesome just to see that. Now, looking at the rest of here, I think we got through most of these the common days honestly just for the joke of it i'm not even gonna show off the common days i think you guys can go look at it yourself uh but that is about it i think the white sucker is the last one which ironically is the last fish that we've really decided to code so yep very simple fish they can suck stuff up off sediment and sand down below and yeah just beautiful kind of reds not reds, oh my gosh, I'm getting my colors mixed up. Beautiful blues, beautiful yellows, beautiful whites going on over there. Just a really beautiful fish. But that is about it for our showcase for this week. I, listen, I know the fish sometimes get a little bit daunting, but I hope you guys appreciate them nonetheless. Again, let me know your favorites from this week. Of course, I have to say mine is the Eurasian wolf. Really beautiful animal, and that is exactly where we'll end it today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Be sure to check out all the mods we covered down below in the description. You guys are always the best. Uh, and yeah, be sure to like the video if you can. Be sure to subscribe if you want. Uh, we're super close to 10k and I'll figure out something to do for 10k. We'll do a contest or something. I'm not really sure. I'm still trying to go through ideas. But thank you guys so much for watching. Always do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.